perfect. All right, guys, welcome. It is Wednesday morning, Diamond Zone. Uh, very, very exciting day for all of us. Uh, uh, everybody knows we have a guest speaker today. I won't tell you who it is, but um, <laughs> uh, I, before we get into this, I just want a couple of announcements uh, before I, I turn the, sh the, the floor over. Uh, I want to make sure you guys can see this. So let me see here. We're going to go with Las Vegas, obviously. Um, give me a thumbs up. Can you guys see this? Uh, Tasha, can you see this? Jan, can you see my screen? Okay. Guys, Vegas, do not miss Vegas. Do not want to miss Vegas next week. I don't care if it's six days away. Okay. Figure it out. I'm telling everybody you need to be in Las Vegas, uh, Diamond Life Convention. Big things happen at, at these conventions, so you want to make sure that you're there. Um, thanks for that, guys, for, for circling that, and I'll, I'll, I'll get you guys unmuted on that. Now, other thing today, at 11 a.m., please note this, 11 a.m. today on this same channel, European launch. You got people, anybody in Europe, in Europe, okay, it's 11 o'clock Pacific time, Okay, our focus there is two groups, Holland and Belgium. It's eight o'clock their time. So based on where they are in Europe, it's a great time. Promote that event, 11 a.m. today. Along with that, everybody knows that we do our business overviews at six o'clock now, Sunday through Thursday. Okay, these have been epic. We got a lot of people joining the team. Everybody here, when you see that and you've been doing a good job, I'm still challenging you. I still have yet to see 100 shares, okay? Get 100 people plus on this call. I expect everybody, if you would, share that. Get people on the call tonight at 6 o'clock, okay? So two things, 11 o'clock this morning, European, and 6 o'clock tonight, uh, we have our um, regular business overview. Okay, so with that being said, guys, I'm going to turn this call over um, to, to my sponsor. And, uh, you know, I, I say sometimes you're born to a crack parent. Remember my training yesterday? Right, right. <laughs> but I wasn't. Okay, Mr. Jeremy Roma is a veteran in the industry. He's a presidential millionaire going, okay, grand president millionaire, that's for sure, after Las Vegas. And, um, you know, I, I always tell the story and I, I repeat it. And I don't care how many times you've heard it. I send this message for a reason. I never believed in a million years. My wife and I, with 24 years of experience, would have been recruited with a text message. Okay, but Jeremy had the courage and didn't pre-qualify and simply sent a, a text message to us. But here's the key to that. The key was we had a relationship. The key was that we formed a relationship and we kept in touch on different types of things that we were doing. And because it was Jeremy, I read the text and that changed the course of our life and our financial situation for our future. So I wanna be first to thank Mr. Jeremy Roma. Thank you for the text, brother. And I appreciate you uh, being on Diamond Zone. I know you're gonna bring it. So guys, camera's on. I want everybody, big round of applause for Mr. Jeremy Roma with your Diamond Zone smiles. Okay. <laughs> wow. Jeff, thank you so much, man, and uh, I love you guys, love you guys, love you guys, and, you know, the reason, uh, Jeff, you know, you got that call from me is, you know, when I, when I launched over here, I made a couple of different categories of lists, and one of the lists uh, that I made was uh, the list of people that I would love to work with, and that's a nugget. You can write that down, but I made a list of the people I would love to work with. And that was, one of our, that was one of the qualifications for that list. And Jeff and Lisa were at the top of that list that I would love to work with. And so, uh, I, by the way, I also made a list of people that, here's a couple more nuggets before I get into training today, made a list of people that told me no before in other deals and other businesses, my other, other two, two launches. That's big. Call people that told you no before. Why? Because they've already told you no. So what's the worst that can happen? They tell you no again. You've already done it. You've already talked to them. So, you know, to reach out to them again, it's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake, right? I love, I love, in fact, I think the easiest group of people to prospect are entrepreneurs. The reason is, is entrepreneurs respect courage. They respect tenacity. They respect people that are going for their dreams and goals. 
And I don't care if it's somebody so far out of your reach, you're like, man, I don't know. If you reached out to them, like we talked about in the last training I did with boldness, they respect it. One thing you can count on, you will never get rejected from an entrepreneur, ever. Now, your broke friends may not understand, your you know, so-and-so, they may go, is what, that one of those deals? They may not fully comprehend the, you know, the invitation to watch this video. But I'm telling you, the entrepreneurs, the people of influence, the movers and shakers respect anyone who's willing to step out and move towards their dreams and goals. And when you reach out to those people of influence, just by doing so, you've earned their respect. So I'm telling you guys, that, you know, we're going we're gonna to get into some meat today. We're gonna, I'm going to pour out. We got, listen, if you got an opportunity right now, take another 30 to 60 seconds and shoot out one last text message. And here's what I'm going to tell you to put in that text message. You got to get on right now. OMG, something like that. JLWorldGlobal.com. That's it. Text your team right now. Drop what you're doing. Go to JLWorldGlobal.com right now. You got to hear this. And I promise you, I'll make sure to deliver. I'll make sure that every team member you get on this webinar in the next 30 seconds, you send that text message out. I guarantee you, they get on this webinar, they're going to thank you for getting them on today. Promise you. Promise you, promise you, promise you. Jeff and Lisa, I love you guys so much. Uh, you know, I want to say this. I, I, we have a lot of folks on here, different lines, different organizations, even with my team. I think everyone, and I'm t I tell everybody this in my group, I think everyone in or outside of Jeff and Lisa's organization should be building into this daily call. I can tell you this, I've watched the journey of the company, the journey of the teams, the journey of the markets. There's no organization in, that I'm aware of in the company and even in our own organization that has, that has built the consistency and has, and has uh, kept the camaraderie and the unity and the glue in the group the way Jeff and Lisa have. And the reason is it's because they continue to be consistent on a daily basis. They show up and they pour out. And guys, I want to tell you, they're a gift. Without a shadow of a doubt, they're going Grand President Millionaire. By the way, when I was sitting down with Fabio, he specifically, specifically talked about Jeff and Lisa and said they're one of the, my favorite couples I've ever met in my life. He said, I want them to go President Millionaire. He's, and that's what he, that's what he said. He said, I believe they're going to be one of the next president millionaires in the company. So let me, let me share that with you. There are hundreds, hundreds of leaders in the company, thousands around the world. And Fabio Galdi understands and he sees what Jeff and Lisa are bringing to the table. So those of you that are in their organization, you're blessed. These guys are the best of the best. Those of you that may not be in their organization, you have an opportunity to learn and grow five days a week right here at this same time in this same web link. So Jeff and Lisa, I, I love you guys and I want to see this call blow up. I believe this could be a thousand people before, before long. So I want to talk about a couple things. I just spent Sunday with Fabio and you guys remember if you were at Disrupt event, you also remember Dr. Malavi who spoke from stage. Um, it's actually the most watched video from the Disrupt event. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it was, it was unbelievable. If you haven't seen that video, you want to watch it, you want to look it up because it was unbelievable. Dr. Malavi came in for the second half of the day. So I spent four hours with just Fabio and I and another four hours with Fabio, Dr. Malavi and I. And I want to tell you guys something. In all of my years, in all of my years of business and network marketing, I have never had the level of belief and absolute certainty that this is the biggest Thing any of us have ever, ever, ever been a part of. So I want to talk to you about a couple things this morning because I had a, a, a very interesting experience this weekend. I'm a little bit tired and I apologize. So Monday, my son and I flew to Las Vegas. Hey, Jeremy, can I interrupt you? Yeah. One second. I don't know if there's any way of doing this. I didn't know I had a cap of 200. There's tons of people trying to get on. Oh, snap. It, can you, is there any way of you forwarding or no? Is this on mine or yours? Well, it's, it's, it's our account. Okay, it's, hold on a second. Yes, tell everybody to hang on just a second. I can fix that. I kept seeing 200 stay there, I and know. Stay there, I know. I saw it climbing too and I was wondering. Okay, good, good catch. Hang on here. Give me 
two minutes here, guys. Yeah, take the time. <clears throat> All right. Tell all your people to hang tight. Yeah, you, and you know what happened? I know what happened, Jeff, is I, I, I changed it a while back to a thousand person capacity on the webinar. But when I did that, I said, well, I don't need more than 200 on the Zoom, right? On the, I didn't realize the, that you guys were using the Zoom format. So that's my fault, man. I didn't mean to mess up your account there. Hang on. <clears throat> All right, hang on, Jeff. All right. Yep. Hang tight, everybody. Yep, here we are, 200. All right, let me edit this. <clears throat> I know we're going to break a record today. This is incredible. All right, and update now. I'm getting your text, guys. I know. We're, we're changing it. <laughs> I love it. Good problem to have. All right. It, sa it says it's been there you go. We're good. We're good. 204 now. 204. Boom. All right. Guys, send your text out again. Let them know that the, here's what you sent out now. 207. All right. Yeah, I, told, I told you to get on. The webinar filled up. They just opened up the room for more people. Send it out to your team right now with urgency. I'm telling you guys. You're not gonna want your team to miss this. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes here, just we want everybody to get in. If I go off camera, Jeremy, it's to save the bandwidth so this doesn't crash, so just so you know. Okay, cool, cool. And uh, Jeff, to be safe, do you wanna make me a uh, co-host? Um, yeah, oh, that's true. In fact, in fact do that because uh, I'm gonna do a, little, a couple of sh uh, screen shares too this morning. Okay, you're good. All right, appreciate you, brother. So, so uh, Monday, uh, uh, my son and I, we, we've been wanting to go into business for a while together. He's 15 years old, he's wanting to do something, and he's not, you know, a really a big people person, so we were trying to figure out what to do. So, we came across an opportunity to get into dog breeding with a really cool uh, breed of dogs and an exotic breed, and, and so we, drew, we flew to Vegas. But we drove back because uh, one of the females that I bought, we, we had her bred and, and she was pregnant. So we didn't want to fly back with the pregnant female. Uh, we drove. So we drove from Vegas all the way back to Louisiana Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, I got back on a plane. So I was invited to go to a personal development event in Las Vegas. I'm going somewhere with this. The personal development event was $2,000 to attend. It was a two-day event for $2,000. When he got there, the person who was doing the event had an upsell for his personal mentoring program, and it was a $50,000 price tag. And I'm watching people enroll in this $50,000 deal, and I, and I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked. A couple of, of leaders on the team came as well. Uh, Ryan and Lydia were there. Uh, Ken and Sandy were there, and we went together. We, we went and said, let's see if we can, you know, let's see what it is. I told him I don't know what it is, but I was invited. Let's check it out. I went through those two days and I came out of that event and here's what I realized. I realized that I am playing small. I realized that some of, us, some of us have more life experience and more to pour into other people's lives in our pinky than other people have in their entire closet of repertoire and $50,000 for mentorship. And what I realized, it hit me dead square between the eyes. I said, son of a gun, I got into network marketing in the beginning because it was my vehicle for personal development. And when I got into network marketing, I was living in an 800 square foot house. I was working two jobs. I was a roofer. And I got into network marketing and I got into personal development 
And that's what changed my life. That's what changed my life. And I had to look myself dead square in the eyes and say, as, le as a leader, and I can only take responsibility for myself, but as a leader, I have played small when it comes into pouring out into other people's lives and really, really, really creating the impact of personal growth and personal development. Here's the first point I want to share with you. Your belief is your power. Your belief is your power. At the end of the day, you could have the best opportunity in all the world. They could hand it to you on a silver platter. Everything could be perfect with no bumps in the road. And the only thing that's going to determine whether you and I succeed at the end of the day is our belief. Period. Period. And when life is not happening the way, hey, I had, I had a crappy couple of years prior to WGN. Life was not happening the way I thought it was going to be happening in that season of my life. And I had some growing to do and I had some learning to do. But one thing I assure you, there was not one moment in my valley where I blamed anybody or anything for where I was. If there was one thing that personal development taught me, it's that I am the creator of my life. And if I want to be somewhere tomorrow different than where I am today, if I want to be someone tomorrow beyond who I am today, it's up to me. World Global Network is not the key to your success. The Hilo is not the key to your success. Jeff and Lisa, Jeremy Roma, we are not the key to your success. Now, you've attracted us into your life because of your belief. You attracted and came into this company because of your belief. And yes, it's in alignment to help take you to the, ne the next level. But at the end of the day, your belief, your power, is your belief. Your power is your belief. Quit playing small. So I was reminded, I remember early on in my network marketing journey, because you gotta understand where I was in life. When, maybe some of you can relate to this, but I had no idea about being a business person. I had no idea about being a leader, influencing other people, doing presentation taking time to game plan with somebody and help them get started. All of that was brand new to me. And I was afraid. I was insecure. And I'll never forget when this came into my life. I'm going to pull up my screen share. When this, when this came into my life from an Oprah Winfrey show, I put it up on several walls in my house and I read this thing every single day. And I started to think back to this because this was the beginning for me. This was the truth and the message that I needed to hear when I made the decision, I'm going to take my life to the next level because I was afraid. I was afraid. Listen to this. You probably all heard it and read it. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us the most. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us. It's in everyone. And as we let our own lights shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. And I read this day in and day out, day in and day out in the beginning of my network marketing journey because I was afraid. I had fear and it wasn't the fear that I wasn't good enough. Deep down inside, it was the fear of, of, of stepping into my power, stepping into the role and the, and the possibilities that I dreamed of in my heart. Personal development, realizing that you have the ability to be whoever and whatever you want to be. See, I believe this, guys. I don't believe in life we find ourselves. 
people say, oh, I found myself. I was out, out finding myself. I was finding myself. I don't believe in that. I believe you choose yourself. You choose yourself. You're not out there hiding somewhere waiting to be found. You're here. You're you. And all you got to do is go inside and say, who am I? Who do I choose to be? What are my dreams? What do I picture life feeling like for me? And make the decision to not play small. To not play small. Your belief is your power. And ultimately, the most important belief you can have is that belief in yourself. That you deserve it. That you are created for greatness. That the dreams and goals and desires in your heart are yours to have. I remember when I was, I was living in an 800 square foot house. Uh, it was a shack, had a hole in the front. I was working two jobs to take care of my family. Just got into network marketing since 2003. Never forget it. And I was so afraid. I was so insecure, but I knew that if I wanted to change my life, I had to face this thing and I had to become the person and the leader. And I had a lot of fear. I had a lot of fear. I had a fear that things were going to fall apart. I've been through some really, really tough times, some personal things in my life prior to that, 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 that time. And, and, and I didn't feel worthy. And I was afraid when, when things would happen, I was afraid, is everything going to fall in? Is everything going to fall, fall down? Is everything going to fall apart? And I'd have these fears. I'd have these fears. I'd start making a little bit of money in business. Because back then, 500 to 1,000 bucks, that was like in a, in a business, when you've never done this before, that was a really big deal. And I was so afraid, you know, are they going to quit? Is it going to fall apart? Is something bad going to happen? I had this fear, this belief. I remember my, one of my last mentors said, success will come to you in life when you learn to expect success like you expect your next breath. Where success becomes breathing. See, when you breathe, there's not any anxiety, there's not a fear, there's not a nervousness, there's not a, a battle going on inside of us going, can I breathe in, can I breathe out? Success is like the breath. You can begin to come to a state and a place where, where you expect success, just like you expect your very next breath. So there was, a, there was an affirmation that came to me in 2003. And I'll, and, and I'll never forget when this happened because I was so afraid. I was so afraid. So, so much of my life had fallen apart. And I was trying to rebuild and build it up. And I had dreams and goals. But so much of my life had fallen apart at that time. That there was this fear. Every time I took a step forward, it was like, at what moment is everything going to fall apart and be the end? You know? And it was, it was rough. I mean, it was rough, guys. And I remember at the time I had a Dodge Durango, I'll never forget it, 2003. And I felt all of this fear coming over me. Fear that something wrong is going to happen. That, that, you know, and I had just gone through, so, so story behind the story, I was at a friend of mine's house with the kids. Infomercial was on and it was Tony Robbins, Anthony Robbins. And he's talking about get the edge, overcome your fear. And, and, I, some, I, never even, I, ne I didn't even know who Tony Robbins was. I wasn't ever in a personal growth or personal development. And I said, I, I, want, I want to hear what he's talking about. It was so empowering for me. So I spent it, I'll never forget it, my last $250, literally my last. I had just enough in my account at that time, and I bought that Tony Robbins. And you better believe when you spend your last $250 on something, it doesn't sit in your closet. Like that was a big deal, right? There were bills that were, didn't get paid because of that $250. And I devoured, I devoured every day, every day, every day. And I, I mean, I devoured it. And he talked about the power of affirmations. So I want to share with you an affirmation still to this day that comes out of me like my breath. Whenever I feel a fear, 
whenever I think that something could go wrong, whenever circumstances start to happen and that fear kicks in and says, oh my gosh, is it all falling apart? Is it, maybe it's not real, and the, right? And the doubt comes in. Now, at that time in my life, I also, uh, for two years, I had terrible, terrible pain in my feet. It took me two hours in the morning to be able to actually walk straight. And I was climbing roofs every day as a roofer. It was terrible. So I had pain. So here's my affirmation. I'm going to share this with you. This is when things were trying to come at me. This is when doubt was trying to come. This is when I was trying to take my life to the next level. I was stepping forward. And everything, everything in my mindset, my belief system was starting to want to be renewed. And all the old beliefs and doubts and fears and insecurities reminding me of my past, reminding me of my failures, all of that was trying to show up. Here's what I said. I said, only good things happen to me. Everything great comes abundantly. I am living pain free, full of life and energy. And I'd drive down the road, I'd walk around the house, I'd march around the block, and I'd say, only good things happen to me. And everything great comes abundantly. And I am living pain free, full of life and energy. Only good things happen to me. Everything great comes abundantly. I am living pain free, full of life and energy. Only good things come to me. See, all those thoughts that were coming, say something bad might happen, it all might fall apart. I realized that was not what I wanted to believe. That was not the future I was choosing. That was not in alignment with my heart. And I made an affirmation that said, only good things happen to me. So even when some really crappy stuff would happen, I'd say, man, there's something good. Somehow, some way, this situation was good for me because only good things happened to me. Growing up, you know, somewhat in church, I, I remember a, a verse in the Bible said, God works all things together for the good of those who love him. And I began to, you know, renew my mind that everything serves me. And I just had an affirmation that I started to, to program into my brain and it changed my life. Because I had no room in my life for things to fall apart. I had no room in my belief system that I wasn't going to be good enough. I had no room that, that bad things were happen, happening. I knew I had a belief system that I was building that said, I have the power to create the life I want. And everything that's happened to me, everything that's happened to me, is working towards my favor, working towards the outcome that I'm speaking and believing every single day. I, have a, I still have a video up from that year, 2003, when we couldn't even afford a Christmas tree in that 800 square foot house. It's on YouTube. And in the video, my kids are tiny. And on my bedroom wall, now look, I had a mattress, not a bed. I had a mattress in that room. Not even a bed, a mattress. And on that wall were two pages, you can see it in the video, two pages of I am affirmations. And I'm living in an 800 square foot house. I'm cooking breakfast burritos in my kitchen, selling them at three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning, leaving that, going to climb roofs as a construction worker, trying to get myself out of a crazy hole that I created. Believing I'm gonna be a millionaire one day. This is in 2003. This is the first time ever in business that I've made a million dollars in 12 months. First time ever. But I've been speaking it since 2003. Since 2003, I read it. I am an amazing father who takes care of it. So I am emotionally connected to the people that I love. I am a powerful thinker with a heart to serve. I am at the right place at the right time. And I'd speak these I am's, and I mean, people thought I was crazy. I didn't care. I was so ready to change my life. And, and, and when those fears would come, I'd say, I'd say it out loud, only good things happen to me. Everything great, think about it, everything great comes abundantly. 
everything great. You want leaders in your organization? Guys are coming abundantly. You want deep friendships with purpose and passion and fun and excitement? They're coming abundantly. Everything great, whatever great looks like to you, it's coming abundantly. Only good things happen to me. Everything great comes abundantly. And for me, I was living in pain at that time, physical pain. So I put in there, I'm living pain-free, full of life and energy. And my life began to transform. So whenever that fear came, I said, stop, 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 stop. What do I have to believe in order to feel this way right now? Whenever you have a feeling that you don't like, it's not in alignment with your dream and your vision, who you are. I want you to ask yourself this question. What do I have to believe in order to feel this way right now? Yesterday, I sat down with my, my daughter and one of her closest friends who's gone through a really, really, really hard life. And she was going through a really hard moment in her life. She's been rejected by her family, put down, beat down by her, by her parents. She's been alone since she was a child, uh, never, never loved, never felt affection, kicked out of the house many, many times. And a good kid, good girl, beautiful heart. One of the best singers and writers I've ever heard in my life. We were sitting on the couch over here talking, my daughter and I and her. And I asked, you know, I started asking her some questions, tell me things. I said, how do you feel? She's telling me how she feels. I said, what do you have to believe in order to feel that way? And she stopped, she listened to the feeling. And she said, in order for me to feel this way, I believe I'm not good enough. And she starts crying. Yesterday in our living room, starts crying. All the tears, so much hurt and healing ahead of her for her journey. And I looked at this young lady in the eyes, and it's the first time she's ever heard this in her life. But I pray to God it won't be the last. I hope she tells it to herself every day. I looked this precious young girl in the eyes, and I said, sweetheart, you are perfect, and you are beautiful. In the eyes of God, in the eyes of me, in the eyes of Adriana, and in the eyes of anyone else who understands love. And it doesn't matter what your mom and dad say. It doesn't matter what words they've spoken of your life. You have the power to own your own truth. The things they've told you are like, and you are perfect. And you are beautiful in the eyes of God and anyone who understands love. And she's crying and breaking, breaking free. And, and, and I challenge you, when you have a feeling that you don't like, maybe it's a fear, a worry, a doubt, an anger, Stop and ask yourself, what do I have to believe in order to feel this way? Now, I want you to think about how you want to feel. How do you want to feel? How do you want to feel? And then ask yourself, what do I have to believe in order to feel that way? Do you want to feel powerful? Do you want to feel free? Do you want to feel like only good things happen to you and everything great is coming to you abundantly and you want to feel that energy? What do you have to believe in order to feel that? So first thing I want to tell you today is your belief is your power and your power is your belief. Second thing I want to tell you, team, <laughs> after spending this weekend with Fabio, Second thing I want to tell you is we made it. We made it. We made it through some hurdles. We made it through some challenges. We made it through a process and a journey. A lot of people didn't make it, but you made it. You made it through. It wasn't easy. There were times you wondered, is this thing going to, is it real? Is it going to, is it, is all these things going to manifest? Am I buying into something that's real? You had your own doubts and maybe you still do, but I want to tell you something. You, we made it. We made it. And when I tell you, here, here's how I picture it right now. It's like we're, when I was a kid, I grew up in Ohio 
And where there was a, a park where I lived where we loved to go sled riding in the snow in the wintertime. But we had to climb all the way up this huge hill, carrying our sled with us. <laughs> and then at the top of the hill, we, woo, the time of our life, man. I can still feel it, the snow in my face and the laughing and the tubes hitting the jumps and everybody. I still, but we had to climb up that mountain and sometimes it was like, oh my goodness, am I ever going to get there? And I feel like right now, we've made it to the top of the hill, to the top of the mountain, and now we're getting ready to come down the other side. Now we're going to get to, now you're going to get to experience the power of momentum. Not everybody made it up the hill. Not everybody wanted the ride of freedom. Not everybody wants to go all the way into their freedom. But I'm promising you, and I'm going to share some things with you now as we move forward. Those who made it and didn't give up and didn't quit, you are at, you are at the most perfect right place for financial explosion in your life than I have ever, ever, ever witnessed, ever in my life. Fear, so somebody asked, why is fear so strong? So let me back up and let me share something with you. Fear is not, fe fear is no stronger than belief, than love. Perfect love casts out all fear. The reason fear, and it's interesting, the only way to truly, truly be set free from any fear, now I'm just going to answer that question that was asked because so many needs this. The only way to truly be set free from any fear is to fully experience it. That's it. I didn't overcome my fear of talking to great leaders, talking to people of influence, because I sat and waited for the fear to come around, to go away. Trust me. When I started finding the courage to go talk to the people that I wanted to be talking to in business and in, in my career, the fear didn't go away. It was there. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is the ability to take action in spite of your fear. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is the ability to take action action in spite of your fear and let me share this with you fear is not even real danger is real there's some things that are dangerous you got to be careful they're dangerous but the majority of fears that you and i may deal with in life are not even real they're figments of our imagination they're a result of a story that we are telling ourselves that hasn't even happened yet every fear you have is a story you're telling yourself. And the reason fear is so powerful for some people is because they've been telling themselves that story and they've had other people telling them that story for so long. The story is deeply embedded. The story that you're gonna be rejected. The story that you're not good enough. The story that whatever it is, that because of your past, good things aren't going to happen to you. And, and so the reason fear for some people is so strong is because that fear has been fed and fed and fed and fed and fed. But the exact same principle of fear also works with faith. They're both the same. Fear is an imagination of what might happen but it's an imagination of what might happen wrong. Faith is an imagination of what might happen, but it's an imagination of what might happen right. Fear and faith are both imagination. We're both pretending something that hasn't really happened yet. Both fear and faith are picturing an outcome before the real outcome occurs, anticipating with our imagination what that outcome will be. So sidetrack there, but somebody threw that up in the chat. I wanted to address that. Perfect love is what casts out fear. When you believe that only good things are going to happen to you, when you believe that you're going to get what you want in life, when you believe that you're created for greatness, 
When you believe that you are powerful, when you believe that you're meant to impact this world, when you believe that your life has purpose, when you believe that nothing can stop you, when you believe that your family is worth it, that your kids are worth it, when you believe in your goals and dreams, that's love. When you love yourself enough to say, I'm created to live the life of my dreams that I am created for happiness. When you walk in that state of self-love, walk in that state of purpose, fear no longer has a grip. Fear no longer has a grip. And in the face of a moment where you feel fear, and on the other side of that fear is what you want, you gotta ask yourself, who wins? The fear or what I want? And if what I want is on the other side of that wall of fear, I made a decision in my life, I'm gonna run through that damn fear and I'm gonna break that wall every single time because I've learned that where the fear is is where the breakthrough is. I found that the thing you're afraid of, that I'm afraid of, on the other side of that fear is where the breakthrough lies. And as you face the fear, what you realize is, holy cow, there was nothing to be afraid of. And what you realize is courage always wins over fear every single time, if you choose it. So don't be afraid of being great. Don't be afraid. Don't play small. I did for a long, long, long time. Still playing smaller than my, ca my capability. Still facing fears. This weekend, if I was a breakthrough for me, I want to I move on now, talk about some of that. So where are we? Guys, we made it. You have officially earned the right to be the hero that you already know you are. You made it through. You made it through some challenges. We all did. And now we're on the other side, and now is the moment of breakthrough. Here's what I'm telling you. The next 90 days, those that will run with us the next 90 days, I know what's coming in Vegas. I know it's coming in January. January is, I'm telling you, for those of us that didn't quit, that kept going, that, that plowed through the process, and we run for the next 90 days, hey, it's, it's all rocking now. Customer service callbacks, uh, product shipping arriving in days, credit cards processing, U.S. merchant account, and it's all getting even better because the company knows what's coming in January and we're going to break every record in network marketing history the first 90 days of 2018. You can look yourself in the mirror and say, I deserve to be the hero that I know that I am, that I want to be. And this can be a massive, massive moment of breakthrough for you. The next 90 days is what matters most because those of us that built and you follow your leaders, follow your upline and build with us, do what we do, the next 90 days leading to January, the explosion is going to be epic. Some people will wait till January and that'll be great. They'll still get some, you know, some of the momentum. Those of us that run now, it's done. We're setting ourselves up for the rest of our lives. Where are we going as a company? Third thing I want to touch on, where are we going as a company? Tell you this, do not miss Vegas. Do not miss Vegas. Do not, just for the announcements alone, you don't, you don't want to get these announcements on a text message or on a Facebook. You want to be in that room when this company announces what they're going to be announcing. You want to be there. One of the announcements, I believe, is the biggest announcement of the weekend. They've invited me to come up following the announcement and train on the announcement and how to take that announcement and explode and launch and, and build your business all the, way, all the way to the moon. Now, I'm so pumped about it. And I was involved in that announcement. And, and some of these in that announcement, I was involved in the, in the process of that. So I'm very excited to be able to do that. You don't want to miss the announcements. You don't want to miss Vegas. Trainings, the president, millionaires. Listen, guys, honestly, to be able to, because I'm a, I love to be able to look so many in the eyes. I love to be able to, to really, when, when a CEO of a company talks and shares the vision, I think it's the most important moment for all of us because you can feel it. You can feel sincerity. You can tell if someone's lying or, or, or sincere. You can tell if their heart is deceptive. And, you know, I've seen people like that. And I go, man, I don't, I don't get a good vibe here. 
And you can tell when someone truly, truly, truly has their heart in this and they're fulfilling their destiny. I'm telling you, our CEO is fulfilling a destiny with what he's doing right now. He doesn't need the money, guys. He's been financially set for life for decades now. But he's doing this because he's on a mission. He believes in where we are, where we are and where we are going as a company. In a little bit, I'm going to share with you some things and what it's going to do for people's lives. I'm going to touch on that in a moment. Fabio is giving us, just this morning, just this morning, I, I, we, were, we were WhatsApping back and forth. And I couldn't believe what he said. I couldn't believe it. I said, holy cow, it's happening. Listen, I can't tell you, but I can tell you this. Fabio is giving you and I everything we need to change our life between now and the end of the year. This could be the biggest 90-day window you've ever had of actual cash flow. But beyond that, he's given us everything we need to change your legacy, your financial legacy in 2018. I can't go into, I can't give you details. I had to sign non-disclosure agreements. I can't tell you everything. But I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. As a team and as a company, we have made it through some wonderful challenges here called record growth. Some wonderful challenges that come with it. But he's given us everything we need. share a little bit with you to help you really understand how big this picture is. So you guys remember us all the way back to the announcement of the blood sugar monitoring and we couldn't mention the blood sugar on the webinars until the company made the public announcement last January. But I knew about the blood sugar all the way back when, when I launched in October. Fabio shared it with us and said, look, here's where we're going. So I knew the day was coming and that's, that's honestly, I knew that if we could get in front of that and we could build momentum into that, it would be epic. But one of the things I knew, and, and hang out with me here, I want you to hear that this, this is gonna help you get ready to build big. Everyone here is blood sugar monitoring, non-invasive, and what's the first thing everyone thinks of? People with diabetes, right? Of course, obviously, right? That's a no-brainer, right? They're, their skin, they're checking their blood, this is going to help them monitor, absolutely, 100%, 100%, I get that. But I said from day one, for us and our team and our group from day one, said, Look, we'll have the blood sugar monitor, I mean the diabetic and, and, and all of that's in place, but the biggest market and the biggest everyday life uh, impact, benefit, if done right, of blood sugar monitoring is weight loss and nutrition, weight loss. Do you know that that sugar, and I've said it on every, almost every webinar I've ever done since we've been pro for the last 10 months, sugar is the number one cause of weight gain, and it's the number one obstacle to weight loss. So you guys heard Dr. Malavi speak at Disrupt, many of you, or you heard him on the video. Dr. Malavi was in the meeting with Fabio and I for the second half of the day. He'll be speaking at the convention, company convention. I worked for Dr. Malavi for a couple, when I got out of network marketing, I was doing medical sales and he had a, a medical weight loss company. He's a physician. He created a medical grade line of uh, foods and, and, and different uh, devices that doctors can use to treat patients that want to lose weight. And he really taught me a lot about business. He taught me a lot about self-confidence and he taught me about sugar. And he taught me that the body only needs a teaspoon and a half of sugar every hour to function at peak capacity. Anything above that starts to turn into fat. Well, <laughs> my son, for example, at that time was addicted to Dr. Pepper, addicted to it. I, I knew that because uh, I had joint custody and I remember when he came over to my house that summer, he had, uh, he snuck a whole 12 pack of Dr. Peppers in his bag, he snuck it into my house in Florida and I found empty Dr. Pepper cans under his bed. And he knew, I, we don't, I don't let soda in my house. I, I, don't, I don't think soda's good for kids. But he was addicted. And he was overweight. And I took him to Dr. Malavi. We, we, we drove eight hours. And Dr. Malavi taught him about sugar levels. He showed him all the whatever. He put him on a program. And my son lost 25 pounds in 30 days. 
And as a kid, it changed his life. As a young boy, becoming a young man, it changed his life. It gave him confidence. It gave him the power. I, I can change my body. I can change my life. I can change anything. So here's, what, where it's, here's the bigger picture. I'm just going to give you a, a quick example uh, where we're at as a company. So the Helo is powerful. The Helo delivers data that no other device delivers. And the next product that'll be, that'll be coming out very soon, and I think they're going to give you a, a, a clue to that in Vegas, it's got medical grade sensors. It's got the blood sugar monitoring, blood alcohol monitoring, oxygen level. I mean, it's like unreal. Like it's like all of the bells and whistles. It's like phenomenal. Highest grade everything. Clinically said all the good stuff. The open API platform goes live in Vegas as well. So all the programmers, all the app developers, all the people that have had these ideas, they're going to get to pull the trigger and go all in on it. So I sat in with Dr. Malavi and, Dr. And, 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 and Fabio, and Dr. Malavi starts talking about, I want to do this, I want to do that. He starts sharing some of his ideas around the open API platform. And as he started sharing some of his ideas, I had a light bulb moment. Here's my light bulb moment. Data alone, data by itself. So for most people, you wear the Hilo, you run the report, and all you're getting is data, right? You're getting data, your blood pressure, your blood sugar coming, coming next. You're getting data, you're getting numbers. Well, for the average person, those numbers don't translate into any value in daily life necessarily. No habit change, how does it affect my health, what do I do? For the average person, it's data. No emotional connection to it, it's data. Now, it's amazing to go, wow. This is amazing, but it's data. Here's, where, here's why I believe the open API platform is another level of the game changing. And I'll just give you an example of this. Let's say that there was a weight loss app that tied into the blood sugar monitoring. And somebody says, I want to lose weight with my Hilo. They download the app and literally based upon their blood sugar levels throughout the day, they can begin to monitor and follow and look at their diet. And if they follow the, 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 the meter and say, I'm going to stay within what the app tells me to stay in, I'm going to lose weight every single day. First time ever in the world. For example, I mean, one example. First time ever. Wearable technology that helps people lose weight. Never been done before. Game change. So now it goes from what's your blood sugar level to Losing weight, I'm, I'm losing weight. Think about you know, sleep, think about more energy. Think about as, as the brilliant minds in the world today take the data of the Gila and say, we're gonna take this data and we're gonna go solve people's problems. Oxygen flow in their body, circulation, sleep, low energy levels, blood pressure, blood sugar issues, overweight, list goes on and on and on and on and on. Fitness, fitness goals. And through the app that connects to the Hilo, that data now becomes transformation for that person. <clears throat> that data now becomes, it delivers a life-changing result in their life. Think about every person you know in the health and wellness industry and network marketing. Think about this. They're all competing against each other with the same product in a different colored bag with a different name. And we show up in the market and say, we have a wearable technology device that will be the best weight loss coach ever in the world and will allow you to monitor in real time with accountability the diet intake and the effect of, the, of their habits throughout the day to help them maximize the journey they're on with you as a fitness coach or as a health coach or as whatever it is. Guys, I'm telling you, that market, that was one tiny example, thousands of examples, but here's what's going to happen. In 2018, we're going to go from an amazing device that delivers data to an amazing device with an app store that delivers change. And people are going to see transformation results in many areas of their life because of the artificial intelligence and the data of the Hilo. It's going to be transformative. One little sneak peek of what's possible. I want to show you something real quick. Check this out. I'm pulling my screen share up again. Guys, look at this. This is from Business Insider.
Business Insider. Now we know Forbes magazine let us know that the consumer market's 34 billion. That's projection by 2020. That's a consumer market. That's the public, general public. But look at this. The global market for IoT, the Internet of Things, which we've been talking about for a year now, it's built in our device, IoT healthcare tech, will top $400 billion in 2020. $400 billion. Look at the next sentence. I just took clips from this article. I read it just last night. Right now, Internet of Things devices for healthcare are dominated by wearables which make up 60% of the connected medical device market, according to the it is sent, report, I think it said. Next sentence, the health sector is the most promising area for wearable adoption. We haven't even tapped into this market yet. We haven't even tapped into it yet. Look at this next paragraph. Consumer-facing products will eventually be used for more advanced medical care. Watch this, guys. Tech giants including Apple, Google, and Samsung, are investing significant resources, watch this, into developing devices. They're investing resources into development. Ladies and gentlemen, we already have it developed. You understand for the first time in our lives, you're ahead of the big boys in the next market trend and explosion. This is unreal. And Fabio had the brilliance to say it's not just about the device, but we've got to create a platform that allows the device to do whatever it needs to do for individual people so the data and, 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 the, and the functionality of the device can do more than just give them numbers, but it can help them change whatever it is they want to change. Tech giants, including Apple, Google, and Samsung, are investing significant resources into developing devices that will help bridge the gap between fitness tracking, hello Fitbit and the current market, fitness tracking, and actual medical care. Future products will serve both consumer and professional markets. I share that with you because I want you to understand this is not even about the medical space. Or this. What I'm telling you is we already have in our hands, on our wrists, and in our pockets coming soon what the mega empire companies are dropping billions of dollars to try to create. We have it. We are there. We are there clinically studied. Like your mind is going to be blown with what is coming and where we're going as a company. Never seen a moment like this in all of my life. And I'm just giving you the picture of what is possible because it is truly, truly unlimited. We had some folks on our team that met with, I don't know the details, a big medical company or, or I think it was a medical company, it's doctors, physicians. And they're looking for a wearable tech device that potentially could reach 10,000 plus people and patients, whatever it is. They met with, listen to this, guys. They met with Apple. Apple flew in and pitched them on their beta version of their device. Samsung flew in, pitched them on their version of what they haven't unveiled yet. And then they saw the helo. They tried them all. They quantified the results. They looked at the possibilities. And they said no to Apple. They said no to Samsung. And they said, we want to buy 500 helos to start with. And when the new device comes out, it does this, this, this. We're going in for 10,000. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't do those kind of deals. I don't know anything about that stuff. I don't know anything about the medical space. I'm a network marketer. I encourage you to be too. It's where the big money's at. Let those people that love that space go do that, and it's great. You can, you can override it. I'm not chasing deals. What I'm telling you is our product was chosen by medical professionals above Apple's unleashed product, un, un, unrevealed product, and Samsung's. And one of the reasons why is the open API platform. See, no one else has it, guys. No one else has it. And we do, and it's absolutely unlimited. 
So I just want to share with you the, the, the bigness of what I didn't realize it till this weekend. I said, oh, it's real. When I watched my good friend, Dr. Malabi, say, I am all in on this, sit down with Fabio and say, this is the future. They were using words. I didn't even know what those words meant sometimes. They were talking this and that and sensors and things. I had no idea, no idea, none. I was just, I, I was sitting there learning. But Sass walked out of there, and here's what, here's what Dr. Malavi said. Dr. Malavi, one of the most brilliant physicians and businessmen in the whole world, walked out of that time together with Fabio, and here's what he said. That may very well be the most brilliant man that I have ever met in my life. Board certified and multi whatever, multi-million dollar businessman, all these things, I mean, speaks and stay, all this stuff. Fabio, our CEO, maybe the most brilliant man that I've ever met in my life. It's unbelievable. So where we are going is literally unlimited, literally unlimited. For the first time until now, we're gonna actually have an emotional connection to the product. We're gonna go from data, which is great, to actual solutions into people's lives, and that's gonna be a total game changer. Last thing I wanna to touch on is where we are going as a team. Now, I know that you guys have all hit some bumps in the road in this journey, challenges with some of the issues we've had as a company. But I want you to understand a little bit of perspective. Jeff and Lisa, myself, Rabu Gary, Ken and Sand, all, I don't want to name me, so many leaders on the team, and, and, and certainly myself, put everything I had on, on the line this summer. Many of you were there for that disrupt event. Understand, we did what had never been done yet in this company. We put 1,500 people in a team event and nothing had ever come close to that. They were, corporate flew in. We didn't, I didn't know they were flying in. Corporate flew in because they wanted to see if it was real. They flew in, walked behind stage and were, said, oh my God, no one in our company's done this before. You did it. You made it happen. And we made it happen. I made it happen. And son of a gun, so some of y'all, I mean, I got obstacles quick or whatever. Well, guess what? We had our disrupt event smack dab on the front end of the biggest set of challenges we've ever had as a company. You kidding me? I thought, I thought we were, I thought this is it. We got 1,500 people, life-changing event. And son of a gun, issue after issue after issue. And here we go, and oh my goodness, and guess what? Questions started coming. I don't even, you know what I did? I said, only good things happen to me. Everything great comes abundantly. And I am living pain-free, full of life and energy. And when those thoughts would come, only good things happen to me. And everything great comes abundantly. I said, I'm not going to let an ounce of doubt and an ounce of fear and an ounce of negativity creep into the the, the vision that I've chosen to believe and create for my life with this company. And son of a gun, we went to the President Millionaire event in, in Italy, and I got to bring my daughter, and I got to sit down with Fabio and the corporate staff, and they began to share some of these things with us. I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement about some of the things that are coming because they're that big. And I said, oh my goodness. Then we started to, Look at the Vegas. We're going to have a Vegas convention in North America. And I just found out this week, one of the announcements they're making among many that are going to let all of us build this thing to the next level. And at the event, I'm going to show you how. We're ready. We are in the process of creating. So we're ready for the launch of the blood sugar uh, monitoring. We're going to have a, a two-minute video that focuses on the benefits and, and, and the apps and some of these are being developed around that technology, we'll be the first to market with that. We will have a video ready for that market space, for the health and wellness space, the medical space, whatever it is, we'll have it. We're launching a new app for Hilo.life. That's where we are as a team. A new app, it'll launch in Vegas. It's unbelievable. You'll actually be able to send a text message to your friend, they can click the link, they don't even have to put their name and phone number in. 
And the moment they click the link to watch the video, you get a text message that says, congratulations, Mary's watched a two minute video. And it tells you how many minutes of the video she watched. And you can send them a webinar, you can send them a seven minute video and actually see how many minutes they watched. Powerful, powerful exposure tool. Free, totally free for the Healer.life users. We're launching a new webinar. We've got some great stuff coming for the team. The announcements that are made in Las Vegas are gonna be next level. You wanna be there. And you wanna be there to learn how to take advantage of those announcements to take your life and your business to the next level. I have never, ever, ever had this much certainty, ever. And I've picked some winners, and I've made some money, I've been in some good places in my life. We've never, ever, ever seen this moment. It has never happened before in the history of this industry. We will be the fastest growing company to launch a product in North America and get to a billion dollars a year in revenue. You're gonna to get to be a part of that wave and trust me when I tell you, run with us the next 90 days because when January hits, when the things that I know are coming roll out one by one by one, you're gonna add zeros to your check, your organization's gonna multiply fast, 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 fast. Guess what? If everyone else's teams are multiplying by 100, zero times 100 is still zero. So there will be some folks that wait to January, the multiplier kicks in, and they came in with zero. Those of you that are on this webinar are not in that category. You're the ones that led through the process. You're the ones that believe. You're the ones that never gave up. You know who you are. You know why you are here, and nothing's going to stop you. You're the ones that are coming to Vegas. If you haven't registered, you still got a few days to get there, make it happen. You're the ones that say, I came into this thing because I saw something. Yes, sometimes I wondered. Yes, sometimes I doubted. Yes, I had some challenges. But at the end of the day, the thing in my heart that knew this was it, this was real, believed and didn't give up. And now you're about to see the thing that you believed in and bet on and stood and didn't give up in show up and, and deliver on a whole nother level. And you're about to ride the biggest wave of momentum in your life. I said this, I'm gonna close with this. I said this on the last call I did with Jeff. Here's my strategy right now. Here's the strategy of every leader in our organization. The strategy is I'm, I'm pretending like I'm starting from zero and I'm a brand new distributor with this company. I'm pretending like Vegas is an opportunity for me to launch something. And okay, how many people can I get to Vegas? Because it's my launch, personals, new, new people. And I'm pretending like what's happened the last 12 months didn't even happen. The, the money we've made, the momentum we've had, and I'm saying this is a brand new business right now. And here's, here's why. For 90 days as a leader, I've got one goal, and I, I challenge you to adopt this goal. For 90 days, my goal is to create new stories. That's my goal. New people, new stories, New three-way calls, new webinars, new launches, the whole nine yards. I'm going back like I'm brand new again for 90 days. Two things are going to happen for me. And if you do this, two things are going to happen for you. Come January. Number one, all the folks that have maybe joined your organization in the past few weeks, few months, who maybe weren't cut out to ride through some of the challenges, here's what I want you to hear loud and clear. Most of them are not out. They're not out. They look like they're out. They got one foot out. But most of them got involved with this company because they saw what you saw. And deep down inside, they go, man, I want this to be real. I want this to be real. But for whatever reason, personality, mental programming, whatever it is, they, they pulled back for a season. But some, some are out, but many, many, many are not out. Many, many, many are just on the sideline. So here's what's gonna happen. For the next 90 days, you and I are gonna go build, recruit new, new people, launch new people, create stories. You're gonna to get to Diamond maybe for the first time, President maybe for the first time, and you're gonna do it with, with brand new people that, did, that weren't, they didn't see all the junk that we had to go through. And it's flowing for them, it's fluid for them. And you're gonna create some stories. And then we're gonna to get to 
to, to January. <clears throat> and one after another, these great things, are, the momentum is going to happen with what the company's doing. <clears throat> and what's going to happen is the old group that's one foot in, one foot out, is going to say, okay, we've been waiting on this blood sugar thing. They've been telling us about this app store. They've been saying X, Y, Z, and, and man, I want it to be true. And one more time, they're going to say, they're going to see the stories you created. They're going to see the momentum. And they're going to say, all right, let me see if this is real. And guess what's going to happen? It's real. That's what's going to happen. It is real. So real that if I told you some things I know, you wouldn't be able to sleep the next three days. It's real. And you're going to have two waves of momentum. You're going to have the, the people in the next 90 days that you go build with. Stop trying to pull and resurrect the dead. Stop trying to convince them to see what you see. They won't right now. It's not where they're not looking that way right now. Their eyes aren't open for that right now. What they're looking for right now is evidence, and you got to go give them some evidence just like we are. Let's go build. Let's go create momentum. Here's the two waves of momentum. The 90-day run and all the new people you start to work with, the webinars you do, the three ways you do, all, all that for 90 days. January hits. Boom, momentum starts to happen. Your checks start to go bigger than ever. And then all the folks that have been with you up till now, not all, most, go, okay. And they take a step in. And then we build their confidence. They see it's real. And all of a sudden, it's like you've got two groups coming together at one time. You've got the group that's been hanging on. You've got the new group. January comes. And the most dynamic announcements and, and everything we've ever dreamed of happen all at the same time. Telling you guys, get ready. Get ready. Jeff and Lisa are going president millionaire, guarantee. Some of you that haven't even gone diamond yet are going to go blow right past diamond to president. Exponential, what's about to take place. And we're, we're going to be ready for it as a team. Our, our, I know the announcements we made at convention, we have a training site already built and ready to go live based upon the announcements being made. So every person in your organization is going to be able to hit the ground running. We're set. We're ready. We're ready to do our part as a team to take this company to the next level and help Fabio fulfill his vision here. So guys, I love y'all. I'm, I'm honored to be on this webinar and uh, let's go rock and roll the next 90 days together. Hopefully I see every one of you in Vegas. If you haven't made a final decision to be in Vegas yet, make a decision to be there. So love you guys. Thank y'all for your time this morning. And Jeff, I think you're out there somewhere, buddy. Hey, brother. Thank you so much. I think the ultimate compliment is no comment. So we'll leave it there. And uh, guys, just two things, reminders. Um, today, 11 o'clock, the European launch, the same channel. If you have people out there in Europe and also tonight at six o'clock, just our, 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 our opportunity webinar, pack the house. But Jeremy, thank you. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, and uh, not, nothing else has to be said. And if, if I could get everybody, please, Big round of applause. So, Jeremy appreciates all of us at Diamond Zone. We set a new record, by the way, 306 people. That's double Love the company it. call. That's double the company call. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Great job, you guys. Ben, this has been recorded. It'll be on GMALVA Global YouTube page uh, in about 15 minutes. Appreciate all of you. Thank you. See you tomorrow morning.